We're interested in open energy because of their dynamic demand service. We have a number of assets that consume a lot of power that fit very well into that portfolio. We have a strategy which is use less, generate more and use smarter. Changes in the energy market are presenting new challenges to the national grid. Greater volatility and less reliability in terms of the source of supply mean greater challenges in maintaining balance in the system. So they're looking for new and innovative ways of achieving that, typically on the demand side. Dynamic demand will facilitate the creation of a virtual power station. This will enable us to address the problem in a new and innovative way, rather than depending on power stations to either increase or reduce production to keep the grid in balance. We manage the total consumption of the business, which provides water and wastewater treatment facilities in the northwest of England. We also help facilitate the generation of power by the effective use of our assets. We work very closely with the United Utilities to identify their assets and their suitability for the dynamic demand service. We had a collaborative project where we worked very closely together, where we went through first of all a process of evaluation, where we were able to communicate to them the work we'd done with different assets in different organisations and therefore the kind of characteristics to look for and then went to a process of trial and full evaluation which was a great success. We trialled the system on three technologies to date and we find that it is successful if managed in the appropriate way. The trial consisted of selecting suitable sites and processes, ideally sites and processes that can be switched off for short durations as required by dynamic demand. Once we selected the sites we then undertook site visits and undertook HAZOPs to identify the key performance parameters that couldn't be exceeded by the implementation of dynamic demand. It falls in line with the consent of the environment agency that we operate these sites under, so it's absolutely safe to do so and it doesn't interfere with the site operation either. We work with um, United Utilities and other water companies as their main regulator. There's a lot of challenges for, um, for the UK really around carbon emissions and energy. Um, there are issues around higher environmental standards that have, that, have, that have come through. There are higher energy prices, there's increased population and increased use. So there is a, there's a real need for, for water companies to, um, to innovate, really, to, to use new technologies, to use new processes, to try and reduce the impact of, um, of those challenges on their business and make sure that we maintain that sort of the clean, affordable, safe water supplies going forward. Using the dynamic demand hasn't affected uh, how the ASP runs. The dynamic demand will only run given a series of parameters by our plant. If those parameters are met, then dynamic demand can run without any impact on the site. By deploying Open Energy's product, we can gain an income stream, which provides two things, reinvestment on assets, and it also helps National Grid manage their grid balance and services in the UK. The installation at United Utilities is particularly pleasing to Open Energy on a number of fronts. Firstly, working one of the UK's leading companies and helping it with its energy strategy, particularly in the area of smarter use of assets. We've also been able to show the water sector that they have assets which can play a part in the dynamic demand service, which will support the national grid in its balancing challenges, but also generate new revenues for the water companies. And we've been able to do this without any impact on the organisation operationally. It's been seamless, it's been invisible, and it's been a real success as a project.